Afternoon, I'm Max Brantley with the Arkansas Times on Friday, December 5th. News from Arkansas. Hogs win. <laughs> well, or hog waste wins. I mentioned yesterday that the legislature will consider this morning a rule to pre prevent the establishment of future big hog feeding operations in the Buffalo River watershed. Nearly all the questioning of the people proposing the rule was hostile. The Farm Bureau and the pork producers think it would be just terrible if we regulated further big concentrated hog feeding operations in the Buffalo River. There weren't enough people there for a vote, but I doubt that they could have mustered the sufficient votes to get this out of the Legislative Committee this morning anyway. So, uh, for now, uh, there's no prohibition on still more giant hog farms in the Buffalo River watershed. If it floods uh, one of the big waste pits and runs into the Buffalo River, you might not want to canoe for a while. Also today, big news of the Capitol is all about the lottery. The uh, legislature, led by Senator Jimmy Hickey, is pretty clearly in, in motion with a plan to take over the lottery. They want to change how the commission is appointed. They probably want to change who some of the vendors are. There'll certainly be per personnel changes when all this happens. The, the tool for getting this done was a no-bid contract they did with a British uh, gambling consultant represented by a couple of Republican lobbyists with ties to the Hutchinson administration. And it blisters the current lottery for management practices, marketing, expenses, poor revenue results, and lots of other things. And they've got some ideas to change that, including perhaps getting a private management operator. Uh, the lottery says that it's making strides and saving money and doing the best it can under difficult circumstances. But I think in the end there's going to be changes at the lottery. Whether these are good, whether we should do another no-bid deal with another operator. And by the way, my blog today has a lottery consultant's take on this, this consultant's report and then finds it short in any number of areas. But we're going to be fighting about the lottery for some months to come. The legislature also has heard that uh, the state's current information uh, services department isn't doing a good job in providing broadband to the schools. It recommends a new integrated effort. This is part of the Walton Finance push to try and get a statewide computer broadband network hooked up to an existing broadband network that serves the universities. I still think that there's some evidence that the private operators who are trying to hang on to the business with the schools are doing a pretty good job. Arkansas schools are actually on average better than the rest of the country on providing sufficient broadband access, mostly because they've gone out and done their own contracts with independent phone companies who've been able to get the job done. And in other legislative news, I, ho I know you'll be happy to know that the legislature is now practicing medicine. Yes, the state medical board yesterday adopted a rule that was mandated by legislation that uh, governs one particular part of the practice of medicine. A number of doctors didn't want to do it. They hated the notion that the legislature was telling them how to practice medicine. Ah, uh, but it was just about women. What they've done is they're, they're going to require doctors who talk to women who are seeking abortions to do an ultrasound and to tell them about what the potential uh, successful pregnancy would be of, of a fetus before they do an abortion. This is, this is nothing but the legislature practicing medicine. Uh, what's next? Perhaps requiring doctors to tell us, uh, give us a written report on our life expectancy if we eat too much? Let's hope not. Uh, also, uh, big news on, on the uh, Department of Human Services front. I got word today that, that layoffs had begun at counseling offices run by the corporation owned by Ted Sewell, the operator of the Lord's Ranch uh, residential facility in North Arkansas and, and outpatient mental health youth counseling offices all over the state. He gets more than $10 million a year in Medicaid money to run these operations. He's been identified as having provided money to a DHS official through intermediaries to increase his business of this sort. Uh, as a result, the state suspended his operations. He tried to appeal in court, but has now dropped that appeal without the Medicaid money. It, it seems clear he can't operate. I haven't yet talked to anybody within the corporation, but, but it would appear that this operation, which has been hugely controversial because of political practices, religious practices, and disciplinary practices, may now no longer be operating in Arkansas. The most gruesome story of the day came from St. Francis County. The, the sheriff there arrested two duck hunters who were vicious enough to kill some cats while they were out duck hunting and stupid enough to put pictures of their kill held up by the tail on Facebook. Uh, they've been charged with cruelty to animals. This is probably the most hotly talked about story of the day. And finally I want to close with a story that is not a local story except that it is a local story. Rolling Stone magazine has now apologized 
for the internationally controversial story it did about a gang rape at the University of Virginia. They've now decided their problems in the woman's story, problems in the reporting techniques by the reporter. The tragedy of this is, is that it will, it will discourage other rape victims from coming forward on campuses. Rapes do happen, they do happen in circumstances that are sometimes hard to prove and sometimes the women are made victims. I think the woman in this case, case clearly had something terrible happen to her, whether it was what she said or something else, we don't know and we may not know. But I think we should always look at these cases carefully and not see them as a way to further victimize victims. With that, I'm Max Brantley. That's it for this week. I'll be back Monday.